Hi everyone, it's Lindsay from Equip Me OT here today to talk about working in the kitchen if you have a condition like arthritis or carpal tunnel or MS or fibromyalgia, really any condition that might affect your hand dexterity, maybe you're, you have some numbness or you have some weakness or just fatigue. So these products I'm going to be demonstrating for you today are all products that I have used and vetted within my own practice and absolutely love for the purpose of keeping you active in the kitchen. So let's just start with some real basics about how to set up your kitchen and picking your kitchen supplies to really maximize your comfort and your independence. So one thing I highly recommend if you do not have a kitchen that already has a high counter or a counter that has stools available for it, I absolutely love these folding portable counter height stools. They're great to be able to set up anywhere in the kitchen to have a place to sit and rest while you're doing some prep work or even stirring something at the stove top so that you're not forced to be on your feet the entire time. It can make a huge difference in keeping people active in the kitchen for a long time. The other things I wanna talk about are the actual products that you select. So as far as brands are concerned, I absolutely love the OXO brand. Um, they always seem to have the most ergonomic handles um, for a mainstream brand, and they make every kitchen supply you can imagine. I happen to own several. I picked my spatula, which has this nice tapered but very bulky rubber handle, easy to grip, really, really solid to use. I also have their peeler, which I love because it has a really wide handle, easy to grip. It's got this extra bit here to make it easy. So picking the right tools to start will make your life a lot easier. Also, making simple changes to your kitchen can make a difference too. This is, seems really, really idiot-proof, but if you have these little clips, which I'll put a link down below to where you can find these, I actually got these at the local dollar store, and replace your twist ties, which are difficult to use if you have dexterity issues or even numbness or tingling, replace it with a clip, much easier to use, much easier to gain access to your bread or other supplies that require those types of twists. So those are just some simple ones. I wanna go into some prep work and the tools that I love for that. Um, and I'm gonna start off with the cutting. As we know, using a knife can become really challenging when you have dexterity issues. It can also become rather unsafe if you have issues with numbness or tingling. Um, so what I'm gonna show is a really cool product this is actually very old. Um, this is an Alaskan ulu blade, which is something that's been created in Alaska for a very long time, and I love it. It's really sharp. You can see it's got this solid handle here and then the curved blade. It comes with this nice stand, would make a lovely gift, um, but it allows you to hold the knife in such a way that requires su significantly less dexterity and coordination, and it's much safer, but yet it's a very sharp knife and you can cut through just about anything. So we've got a carrot here. I'll show you how this works, basically. I've got a nice sturdy cutting board with rubber grips on the bottom so it's not sliding around on me. I'm able to actually cut through, the, through this one-handed. I can rock it through this carrot, raw carrot, probably as hard as you're gonna find, and it works really well. It's gonna give you a nice clean cut, one-handed work, very, very nice. I also, I'm gonna show you probably my favorite cutting product that I've ever owned is one of these. I've had this for 11 years. It's a little worse for wear because I use it all the time. This is a chopping tool, comes in a couple of parts. You're gonna have these different trays that can be switched out. There's two different sizes that this one comes with. Mine is older, the newer ones may have even more options. I'll put links down below for that. But you put it together, it has measuring marks on the side. So as you work, you're gonna be able to actually measure your supply. So if I've got a meal that calls for a lot of diced vegetables or diced product, I can dice it all in one container, measure it, and dump it. It is an incredible time saver. I recommended it for my mother-in-law recently after she had carpal tunnel surgery and it was a lifesaver. So we can set our products here. So I'm gonna set my cut carrot on here. And the beauty is, one-handed, we cut. And now I have equal size diced carrots ready to go. So this can be absolutely wonderful if you're doing things like prepping for soups or stews. Um, I've even used these to cut fruit for pies. It's just an awesome product. So the Vidalia Chopper, that's the brand that this one is. They come in a variety of brands and they all work really, really well. So there we have for chopping. Let's go over some products that I like for opening containers, because obviously that's a huge challenge if you have strength issues or coordination issues. 
there are a couple of different products out there that will help you with opening. Actually, there's a lot of products out there. This one is super common. Just a different size jar openings. It's gonna allow you to grip and twist. This product came with both of these. I got this on Amazon. It came with this jar opener as well as this multi-tool. And I'll show you how both work. So for just your standard jar, you're gonna find the opening here. Apply it. You can see I can now grip here real easily and twist it open. Works really, really well. Or if I have, for example, a pop top, this happens to be a can. This one has actually a can opener on the bottom that works for pop tops, which I have never seen before, but found it to be pretty cool. So you can extend your pop top. That is awesome. It also has a two liter opener, bottle opener, and then this piece here for pet owners is a lifesaver. If you've ever had to open multiple cans of like cat food or wet dog food, they all have those pull tops. This has a pull top clip on it too, so you can open your pull tops. Actually, it's like this. Grab it, peel it back. So it works wonderfully for that. So these two tools, very inexpensive, have a ton of uses. It'd be really helpful if you have dexterity concerns. All right, let's talk can openers. I absolutely love to have a powered can opener. Makes it so my kids can open cans by themselves. It's really fast and efficient. Saves me a lot of headaches if I'm doing something that has a ton of cans involved. This one is by Kitchen Mama. I did a lot of research on this. This one has the features that I like the most. Nice ergonomic design. It's portable versus something that has to be set on the countertop. It's something that can be hidden away so you're not taking up counter space. Simply set it on the jar and hit the button. It's gonna do all the work. All right. Now the thing I really like about this is it doesn't cut your jar or open your jar in the traditional way. It actually cuts the whole top off. So now I can simply lift my top off. I have no sharp edges. This is extremely important if you're dealing with sensation issues or dexterity concerns because now I'm not running that risk of plying around for that loose top and cutting myself. That would be really dangerous in many situations, but especially if you're dealing with conditions that prevent fast healing. So I love this thing. Works awesome. Battery powered, so you can just pop new batteries in it if it ever dies. So being able to get your cans open nice and easily. So again, Kitchen Mama, good work. I'll leave a, a link down below for their product. The last one I want to show you is kind of an insider tool. So this product is kind of a catch-all in the OT world. We use this, it's called Dysum, D-Y-C-E-M. It is a double-sided, sticky silicone. It comes in a sheet. And you can buy it off of Amazon. I think this roll was $17 or something like that. Really inexpensive and it has so many functions, but I absolutely love it in the kitchen. So you cut a chunk that you need. So I just grab a pair of scissors. Cuts easily. It's got uh, antimicrobial fibers woven into it. So it's low risk for causing any kind of infection or bacteria growth. It can be washed and reused as many times as you want. And when it's dry, this stuff is so sticky. So instead of using perhaps that jar opener, you can use this. It's gonna give you excellent grip to open. Also makes wonderful use if you have one-handed, if you're only working one-handed, perhaps you're a stroke survivor or your arthritis affects one side more than the other and you need to open your containers, you can actually press down into this. You could cut another piece as well and open, here we go, open your jars by just simply pressing down onto it so that it's going to hold it in place so you can do one-handed opening. I also recommend putting these under plates and under cutting boards to keep them from sliding around if you're a one-handed user, and they work great for that. So Dyson is an awesome multi-use product. It can be really good for a lot of, really as far as your uh, creativity can take you, this stuff is wonderful. So there you have it, a few of my absolute favorite kitchen products to maximize your independence and safety in the home so that you can keep doing all your wonderful cooking activities. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you got some value out of this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And of course, if you're looking for more equipment ideas and suggestions, please consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.